people like him who should have kept his mouth shut about the vacuum. His equals hardly paid attention until vacuum suggested something. He has two girlfriends, maybe do something to make them look like cheap sluts. Hezuku stopped ignoring them when the gyre and Achako were brought into the conversation. Those two, I met them and can almost guarantee they're nothing but women that are easy lays. Maybe we can throw him a bone and make some fake images of his girlfriends getting both holes filled. One hangs out with two guys, so I wouldn't be surprised if her cunt is filled with some other guy's jizz while she's making out with Becky. Hezuku had enough of hearing this. He got up and walked to the table. Becky immediately thought of the what do you want there is you can punch back into the face and really don't know. I can take him back about me. The way you ever insult the chakra in the ground again, you think you should. He turned around to get hot hot and thrown into the face of my face. The glitches did happen. He probably thought that was him. He began to go pale with a deeply glaring at her with his eyes dressed in the top of his eyes. After the bruises, the flipping, the cuts, the burns, and the emotional agony you inflicted on me, you honestly thought some hot coffee in the face would work. Can't blame the girl for trying. He held her arms over her face with his equal only walking away. He put the money for lunch on the table before apologizing to the waiter and leaving. Tamaki and Mirio paid for their meal before walking out to see him trying to calm his nerves a bit. Midoriya, he was saying. Tamaki asked well, if he could hold some life energy out of the ground and put him in the room to work about the thing. Better than I was before. That on that took a lot of pressure. Mirio was kind of surprised how well he could cook that. I've had a lot of practice being a wizard boy. None of what they said about me could manage to hit me. So what made you snap, man? Hazuku took a deep breath before answering Miriam. I don't know the second they started insulting the gyre and the chaco. Since he had a nerve. They have done nothing but help and support me since they met me. They visited me in the hospital, helped me home, even invited me out on outings with them when they didn't have to. Hearing them want to hurt two people that did all that for me before we started dating but made me even the reason. Hazuku's face felt all healed with some excess energy killing his body. He placed the back into the ground with some of the grass he drove back. He did not tell the gyre or Jack what has happened to me. They worry about me enough and don't want to seem bad that this was ruined because of something like this. Sure. As long as this doesn't become an this never happens. Hazuku smiled knowing that this isn't something to fear as they walked to Considering Izuku, Mirio, and Tamaki had done a guy's hangout, Naira asked the Chaco if she wanted to do a girl's hangout with her agreeing. They hung out in the gyre and they were even talking about how things are with the gyre, talking about some funny story that happened in the gyre and she found some humorous about the two. As they were watching the movie though, the Chaco looked over to the gyre for a second. Name the gyre, you think I do have to move the why did you do that? The Chaco stood up to the I asked his mom to come by the house, and she said that she was a nice girl. I think she was a nice girl. I was scared of you. The gyre hugged her friend before answering. Katie lied, abused, and cheated on Izuku. They keep an honest, healthy, and pure relationship where they respect each other. You're nothing like her, and Izu knows that. Jacko smiled completely. I shouldn't worry about that. As they said, they both had the strangest feeling that Izuku was defending them. Knowing him, this probably did happen, and slightly more than a big punch to Bakugou, who deserved this to no end in their opinion. Bakugou and Kinyin. Bakugou had to go to the hospital to get his nose stitched with Kinyin taking a trip to the strength of the nation. As they did, Mitsuki came in and was trying to get down to why Izuku of all people punched Bakugou. Her son explained the story as he said with Izuku just walking out and punching him without believing the word. She knew Izuku was wrong to think he would do this. So, she put pressure on Kami, who wasn't that good with Mitsuki to begin with. When this happened, Kami mentioned that they were kind of bad mouthing Izuku and some girl is with Mitsuki smacking back to upside the head. She said he deserved this, and that if she hears this happens again, the blonde would have to find a new home to school in. One thing was certain for the two though, they were now even more pissed off with Izuku than they already were. Chapter 13 In classes was in the monitor.
Oh no. <laughs> Wait, no. I forgot I was recording that. No. I just hope it didn't record the bad part. That's kind of it. I, I'm good.
I want to go to bed. Somewhere over there. Did my 
weapon and hammer well in training, which I could only use in addition to grinding my gun. You see, I was able to add on a few items and help me those in the state of the world and make thanks to Mr. Coward for giving me permission. So how did my life change myself to the state of the world? You see, now you have to mention the world. As 
this way on the beach I began to think of how much she was going to be able to she wanted to show me herself in one way. Maybe I would like it better if I showed her the name of the child. The child was broken out of the park until midnight and I was Now the first time we have a work of yours is quite impressive. You must have been in recent life up to about. As if you had to stop and talk the last few years of Shinto. You didn't understand that the first part of the story is even got here. He bolted to Shinto to grab him and push him out of the way. But the insomniac wasn't having this. You think the trees are grown up with a grain of squirt. You would never understand the wrong you are. As if you got near the edge where he lifted Shinto up and tossed him out of bounds. saying she wanted to win by her own strength. As Yuki accepted this and kissed her forehead before going to the stands to watch. Now for the next match, we'll have a chakra new rock and the Yuki back to you come down here chakra was nervous, but knew she had to do her best to take him down. When the two were in the ring officially they scared each other now, the dim midnight shouted and confused aggressive like a wild animal, shooting off explosive left and right a chakra didn't have much breathing room, but she was collecting ammunition in all the rubble he was making due to his work. Then as Yuku had a feeling a Chaco had a card up his sleeve, when it seemed like enough rubber Chaco shouted, release meteor shower. In one swift motion, as Yuku blasted the debris which left the Chaco the then savagely landing body shots while creating explosions before she passed out the moment. and then ran to see the chakra in order to see her before she got to the car. As Yuki got there and healed her completely, she was then crying apologizing to Yuki. As Yuki was to shut her up, she was her passion. And the girl was looking to Don't worry, Chakra, I'll make it to the end and shatter the cry by the sun. The chakra smiled and kissed the giant up in her head, so she was happy she was with her hard work. <laughs> Jacko was mad at herself for losing her match, but went back to the set when she almost passed out in three of them. Make him wish he never met the <laughs> Chapter 7. He got to the field, but Todoroki looking at a red suit like Sure to show the person who's going to be 